a barbell deficit hip thrust will add a little bit more range of motion to your barbell hip thrust exercise. I wouldn't recommend going too high on your deficit though because if your butt cannot touch the ground or get close to it, then there's no reason for you to have that high of a deficit. So you're really not gonna be able to do more than a few inches. I've got like four inches added here. Um, make sure that whenever you get yourself placed that you start off by pushing your tailbone all the way back against whatever you're hip thrusting against. This is like 12 to 14 inches off the ground. So I've got my mid back on it, tailbone is attached or is, is touching, and then that makes it easier to line up where my deficit ends up. So if you're not super familiar with your hip thrust stance, you need to make sure you've got that down pat first because once this is in place, it should be in a good position so that you can place your feet without having to move the deficit. You don't want it too far away. So remember that heels are a little bit wider than your hips, toes are turned out slightly, knees are pressed out the entire time, and as you lift, you're coming up to where by the time you lift, you have pretty much a perpendicular line between your shin angle and the floor or the deficit wherever you've placed your feet. Okay, so once all of that is squared away, you can place the barbell on your hips. I'd recommend putting padding on here, but the downside of padding is that as you lower your hips, you're gonna run out of space to be able to continue to make this angle smaller. So sometimes you may have to compromise a little bit here as far as weight, but I've got the position, everything's all set up, got my barbell in place, you're going to lift, get those hips as high as you can, and to the trains of thought, you can either keep the eyes forward in order to keep your rib cage knitted down and the abs engaged, or you can allow the head to rock back, just make sure that you're not sagging through your butt, you should keep your butt tucked under so the glutes engage strongly on each repetition. So this is going to be a little bit more burn to your glutes just because of that increased range of motion. So keep in mind, you may have to use a lower weight than what you're used to um, or do fewer repetitions.